We just uh, checked out Grimey's records in Nashville. Uh, so, Jeremy, what did you find? Uh, most importantly, uh, I got the, uh, the Fugazi Sub Pop Skills Club. Seven inch was only 25 bucks, which is not a bad price for that at all. Is and, that something uh, you've been looking for? Uh, you know, it's something that I knew existed, but I haven't really sought after, so I'm, I'm definitely still coming. And, uh, and the, uh, the, the whole Miss World 7 inch. Um, I'm a sucker for uh, their album Live Through This because it's great. <laughs> As I mentioned a second ago, you can definitely talk for Cobain had a heavy hand in it. So, uh, yeah, um, stoked. Awesome. Do you have a favorite record store to check out while you're on the road? Um, it depends what city we're in. Yeah. Uh, like if we're in Baltimore, Celebrated Summer is like a really, really awesome store. Um, if, uh, if I'm in Seattle, there's a store called Singles Going Steady, which is really awesome. Um, in Brooklyn, New York, there's a Academy. Um, yeah, uh, if we're in Austin, which we just were, um, there's the end of an year. Okay. It's like stores that like more specialize in, or like have bigger selections for like fucking hardcore stuff. Sure. And whatever. Uh, I was recently just told about a store in Pennsylvania in Allentown uh, that I need to go to. Um, I'm gonna try to make, make our van take a detour that day. <laughs> nice. I wish I could remember the name of it. Someone's gonna watch this and be like, this place. <laughs> I can't think of it off the top of my head. But uh, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's the best thing to do right when we get into town is like, find out where the nearest ones are, or I'll post online, I've been doing this thing right. I basically find out where the stores are, and then if, if I can't leave because we're stuck in the van and trailer at the venue, uh, I'll, I'll ask if someone wants to come pick me up <laughs> and take me to a store, and I'll like either get them into the show or give them merch or oh, so up to gas money, whatever the situation is. People have been really cool about it. Thanks. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome. Um, is there any like certain release that's been really elusive that you that you always look for when you go to different um, places? There's there's tons of, <laughs> there's tons of gems that I'm always looking for, um, but I don't always just go into it mm -hmm. specifically looking for that. Like if I come across it, I'm gonna be excited. Right. You know, kind of thing. Uh, but so far, yeah, yeah. sure. They're, they're they're ones that I'm not expecting to just randomly find. Fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so but I mean this is the situations where that will happen. You right. Know, going to a store I've never been to before. And then you never know what's gonna turn out. Anyway. Yeah, you know it's gonna turn out <laughs> exactly. We are at the Groove in Nashville, and we're gonna take a look at uh, what Jeremy picked out this time. Uh, yeah, the uh, the Hope Count Suicide Files split the Deathish put out. It's on a color that I didn't have, so I had to buy that. Uh, Another Suicide File record, which is their self-titled uh, EP that came out on uh, Indecision. I actually do have this, but it's so good that I needed to have it twice. Nice. Um, older Hot Water Music 7-inch. Uh, this band overlooked. Uh, the kid, Ian, who sings in this band, booked Touche on, I think, our first tour. And uh, I never knew they actually put out a 7-inch, and they're an awesome band, so I picked that up. <laughs> and Classic. I don't. I realize I didn't have that, which is wow. offensive. <laughs> um, but I think most importantly, what I picked up today is the single for Arrested Development, Tennessee. For some strange reason, it had to be. He guided me to Tennessee.